trick is going to be in the timing. We have to get in and out as quickly as possible if this guy's going to stand a chance of coming out whole. Good news is, the injuries are pretty straightforward. I agree, efficiency works. And I haven't given up the idea of kissing my daughter goodnight on her birthday. Pretty for late shift. Oh, how was the birthday party? Oh, it was so cute. Emma had such a good time, and Cameron and Jake were perfect angels, even though it was a girl party. <laughs> well, you better enjoy it while you can, because in the blink of an eye, girl parties will be the only thing they'll be interested oh. in. <laughs> hey, I'm uh, just about out of here, but I need to take a look at that Olsen chart before I go. I um, have it one right here. When I was walking up, I uh, heard you talking about Emma's birthday party. How was it? It was fine. Yeah, the Patrick could be there. Nurse Diane Romeo. What? Cardiology. Well, call me paranoid, but for some strange reason, I don't think you're all that broken up about it. Okay, I know I'm going to be sorry that I asked, but what do you mean by that? <sighs> Look, you probably take it as a sign, right? As in Patrick didn't go to his daughter's birthday party means he's trying to distance himself from his family? Well, you couldn't be more wrong. Patrick loves Robin more than ever. How sturdy this ramp is. I built it myself for you. Thank you, Alan. You're this is absurd. Where would you like to go now, Mr. Luke? His room. Oh, please, Spanx. Could I just sit up for a while, nestled in the bosom of my loving family? We are not your loving family. You have your own family. Why don't you inflict yourself on them? Edward, come on. That's not very nice. Not very nice? You'd know not very nice if this joker had been freeloading off of you for years. Daddy, how insensitive can you be? The man has just had a heart attack, and he is family. Thank you, Spanky. Don't call her that. That's disgusting. Where the hell is Monica? You'd think the cardiologist would be interested in the heart patient. Please, honey glaze. Could I just sit up for a while? Oh, all right. Thank you. Into the living room, Alice. Aye, aye, Captain. But don't think for a minute you're going to sweet talk me into breaking the rules. I'm going to get you healthy if it kills you. Hey, why are you wasting your time dancing attendance on this deadbeat? You could be doing something constructive, like, uh, like trading on Wall Street. Lord knows you're slick and amoral enough. Okay, I'm going to go find Monica. here. Oh, yes, I've heard. Please tell me you are still on board with the plan. <sighs> yeah, um, I know I've been uh, breaking your chops about being Sonny's kid. And I, I hope you understand that I, I wasn't being sadistic. I, it wasn't fun, okay? I, I just know what a good cop you are, and I, I didn't want to see you compromise yourself again. You're not gonna, right? Look, son, he's rolled the dice for a lot of years, and he's won. But now his luck's run out. He's going to have to pay the price. Thinking back, it was right, right in front of me. You came into my house. You didn't want to talk about Brenda. You gave me a kiss, very passionate. You were edgy. We made love, it was different. Because right, you knew right there. And that was your way of saying goodbye. You can't stop being a criminal just because you slept with a fed. It works both ways, Sonny. I care for you, but I never agreed to cover for you. I wish I could say I don't understand, but I do. I get it. I don't like it. Okay. But I get it. Okay. I really hope you, uh, I hope you get out of this, and, and if you do, I hope there's something on the other side here for us. I, I don't know. I won't count on either. Well. Hey, Carly, we, we all know that you don't like Brenda, okay? But Brenda's actually in trouble. She shot a guy last night. And she's not as strong as you. I actually have to help her, so stop making trouble for me. I've got enough. You have enough because of Brenda. Did you hear what I just said? I Please. can't stand how obligated you feel to protect her. Because she doesn't deserve it, and she wouldn't do the but same thing the for point. you. But that's not the point. Somebody's trying to hurt her, so I shouldn't help. 
If Brenda and I were dangling over a pit of alligators, who would you save? That's stupid. You wouldn't be anywhere near alligators. It's not literal. Just answer the question. Who would you save? You'd save me. I hate questions like that. There's never a right answer. Do you think she's on to something? Did Dante guard Brenda? I've called from the duty roster and personal files from the NYPD and mm -hmm. correlated that with the State Department records of Brenda's visit. And? And it's true. Dante was one of four patrolmen assigned to guard her in April of 2007. Okay. All right, keep looking. Uh, see if there's any indication Brenda's association with Dante went further than that. And I don't want you telling Brenda anything. I, I've humbly learned my lesson. Yeah. Wild horses could not pry the information from my very soul. Okay, that's good. You guys discussing something I'm not supposed to hear? I don't tell you certain things for a reason. Spinelli forgot that for a brief moment, but I think he remembers again, don't you? Yes, Master. That's my fault. I'm sorry, uh, Spinelli. I took advantage of you, and don't be mad at him. You know, you should just be mad at me. The divine one I mean, is beautiful beyond measure, but her generosity of spirit oh, is. Oh, Spinelli, un please, please. Why, why do you have to? What do you have to do that for? Uh, what are we getting mad at him for? I'm not, I'm not. You're the one who worked the guy for information and almost got I killed, know, and he blames himself that he I felt guilty. Sorry. And where did you sorry go? Where did you that. go? I have to go see Edward. That's where you need to go. For what? Because he's your grandfather and he misses Lila. Since when is it? You know what? No. No, I'm not getting into another ridiculous conversation that ends up nowhere. Tell me about the other guy you shot. How you doing? Little numb. Gotta admit, did not see this coming. Sometimes you, you can't let yourself get too complacent. I used to know that. Well, I'm sure, uh, I'm sure Diane can get you out of this somehow. It's probably cost you a fortune, right? No. Uh, she does, it's gonna mean a lot. In the meantime, I gotta need to ask you a favor. Okay. You know, it's been a hard road for me and Christina getting to a place where we're starting to be okay, and I mean starting to be okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This place is fragile, and it's about to blow. And Christina's gonna be angry and disappointed and hurt and the, the whole nine yards, and I just... Right. Look, what, what you're saying to me right now is sounding a lot like a, an admission of guilt, and yeah, I'm a cop, you have to... And I, when you're around me. Yeah, but right now I'm not talking to a cop. I'm talking to Christina's brother. And I just want you to tell her the truth. That I love her. And that all I ever wanted to do was keep her safe. This isn't your first clinectomy. Nice work, Chief. You're surprised? Desk jockey did I am? Frankly, yes. Worst one I ever got? On a roadside in the middle of the night on I-77. Rogue surgery. Lucky you didn't lose your license. At the time, I didn't have one to lose. Wow, ballsy. You're not the only surgeon in this hospital who's had to fight his way out from under his father's shadow. The reason Patrick didn't go to Emma's party was to make things easier for Robin, so she could actually enjoy their daughter's second birthday without the strain she feels when he's around. How thoughtful. Robin's a lucky lady. Okay, look, I really feel the need to make my position clear so that we don't have a misunderstanding. By all means, you have my undivided attention. I'm no saint, mm -hmm. so I'm not going to presume to judge your affair with a married man, but what I am, irrevocably, is Robin's friend. Okay, got it. And I know exactly what you're doing to her. Okay, can I be honest? This is getting really tiresome. You're undermining her. 
and very efficiently. You parade your professionalism around here and, and being all the victim, and just knowing that your very presence pushes her buttons. Really, Elizabeth? So now I'm responsible for Robin's inability to control her temper. What you're doing is despicable. The one consolation? Karma's a bitch. And she will catch up. Hey, Dr. Niles, there was um, some files that were missed when you were reinstated, and I need uh, you to fill those out so I can complete your yeah, chart no, files. Yeah, sorry, I have no time, but I will do it first thing in the morning. I but I need this stuff. 